Hello and welcome to Code Bane. In the spirit of playing other things while I wait to get stuff sorted. Um, so, yeah, Code Bane. Uh, we're playing this. It's a... I don't know the term. If Souls Light is correct or Souls Like. I think it's supposed to be Souls Light is the term that we're supposed to use. But it's a Souls Light -like game. Uh, I played through the tutorial and that is it so far. So I'm going to restart no big deal it wasn't very far in and we're gonna we're gonna play this taz wanted to play this game like co-op there's i guess souls games have some okay, i'm just gonna use the term dumb have some dumb multiplayer method that's like silly uh and yeah so i, I was reading it and i'm like this is a not a great method for multiplayer because like you have to beat the you have to beat a dungeon before you're able to help somebody in the dungeon and it's also just just it doesn't feel like the game is at all meant for it despite i don't know we'll, we'll talk more about it in a bit but yeah so the whole point is uh i gotta beat the whole fucking game if to to, to be able to play with uh with taz if that's the thing he still wants to do do like that and that We'll hit him with the we'll hit him with the special of I like voices more than everything else, okay? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Think, Think back. back. Search, Search your memory, memory for an image of yourself. yourself. Now I don't know what's uh what's what what all is happening in this world. Of code vein I don't right I don't know but did you know you you probably noticed like a little stutter there that's not like my computer in any way as far as I know I think that the game for whatever reason uh, like this is what I've noticed it load it seems like it loads first the the as if it was playing on like low settings or something or maybe a normal uh, just some lower setting and then it fucking buffs it back up to ultra like in real time and i don't understand why it does that it's really weird it's really weird and i hate it i already did all this i already did it we good we already we already handled that we will we'll be a-okay -okay with all this there all right so we'll, we'll get into this we'll talk more about it you bastard in a moment yeah we're good yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what you look, you look like. like. Well, thank you. Now, now we can, we can finally, finally meet. meet. She's so quiet for some reason, compared to what that music was doing just like 10 minutes ago. It's not been that long. This is a tutorial. Oh, I'll be using controller, by the way. I'm not fucking doing mouse and keyboard. Not like there'd be anything bad wrong with it, but, uh, pass. Pass on that. Uh, this is like anime Dark Souls, basically. Which I'm not as super fond of that, of, as a con conceptually. Like, I like, I like the fact that, like, I haven't played Dark Souls. I should probably also say that. I've never played Dark Souls. Um, or perhaps it was for an excessively short period of time. Uh, my experience with these kinds of games is basically limited to just, uh, Enshrouded at this point. But I don't like the giant ass weaponry. I've never liked that anime ever. Ain't what ain't my thing. Especially because like a weapon like this. I don't know, the weight would be fucked. That's probably the most of it. And then just people like just stride around with these big ass weapons, like, yeah, it's light as a fucking feather. Ooh, it's no big deal. It's, I don't know, it just bothers me. What's up, girly? She's gonna she's my tutorial trainer. It's fun interesting hairstyle we finally meet are you clear-headed you will now be reborn as an immortal creature a revenant there are things you will need to know in your new life so listen well each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins called a blood code the best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself all right so we'll be going through the tutorial just so i can try to remember how to play um, there is some, there is one piece of information that I actually do need to pay attention to when we get to it, and that's how guns work. 
Not that I plan to use them, we're gonna be probably just sticking to the fighter class the whole playthrough. Potentially, um, I, I know one other class that we get, which is Berserker, so we might use that. But, like, I'm probably gonna be melee, because that's what these games are designed for, is melee experience. They're not really designed for ranged. Uh, and so, yeah, that's what I really, that's probably what we're gonna do. That is a fighter blood code, which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. Throw that on there. Very well. Give it a try. By the way, navigating this menu, like, maybe I'm just stupid. I didn't feel like this was intuitive at all. It took me a little bit to fucking understand how this menu worked. Um, I just haven't seen a menu like this in very many games. Uh, I don't know why, you know? Uh, maybe it's just the game, the type of games I play doesn't have a menu that's quite like this, where it has like these extra things to it. It's kind of weird. What was I supposed to do this? Yes, that will do. Be warned. The effects of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The Lost. You can drain Icor from the Lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. I spent literally like three seconds in the fucking character creator. Actually, I spent a decent amount of time looking at everything, but I did so minimal to actually create. Okay, so all this is pretty normal shit, you know? Now, this game has a, uh, they, didn't, they aren't explaining it to me now. I will mention it. This has a parry mechanic in this game. It's separate from the dodge button, so, which is, which is something I've never seen before. Um, I just haven't played, again, haven't played the types of games that do that. But, uh, typically, if there's ever a parry in a game, it's usually tied to the block button. It's, if, you know, it's basically a perfect guard. If you do the guard at the right time, it's technically a parry. It does some extra thing for you. But, uh, no, this game has a full-ass parry, which I like. I actually think it's great, because I think, uh, I think it should be an all-or-nothing thing. Like, you should either get it or you shouldn't. Especially if it's gonna be, in, like, how it is in this game, where it's, a uh, not just a stun. It's, like, there's more to the parry in this game than in some other games. Like a Dynasty Warrior is a perfect guard block. It's just going to kind of shove somebody away. It doesn't really do anything. It interrupts. That's it. Um, anyhow. So, yeah. Now, the I'm going to just show this real quick too. The Y attack. So that's a Y. That's a light. You can string them together like a Dynasty Warriors. Right? But it doesn't really... It's not really anything special. It's kind of like a, uh, a late gen dynasty warriors with you you have they simplified how many charge attacks you have and you have less combo moves so this, that's kind of like that but however what's important to know is i'm going to get up on this guy and actually do it you can hold this okay and you'll do a little bit like you'll do a different thing now it's not as pronounced with this particular weapon like it's not that pronounced with this weapon. Also, I'm hitting like nothing. It's weak. Not as pronounced with this weapon with a different weapon. This. Well, it didn't really do it, but this this one has a different type of uh. It has like a different type of charge to it. It's it's more pronounced. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see it in live combat eventually. Well done. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. Also, if you block, I, I, this is another thing I hate: is the mouse will always reappear because they are they're assholes like that. But uh. If you walk while talking to somebody, you'll break conversations. You can't just walk around, which, like, is the worst thing ever. It's like, either I shouldn't be able to walk while she's talking. Or, um... 
the fuck is that noise in the background? That's the game. Oh, there's just some, like, subtle thing in the background. I don't know what it is. Is that a voice line? Something happened? I don't know. Oh, Ranger Blood again. Yeah, so you can't walk away from somebody while talking to them. I, I hate it. You either should, like, either they just need to keep talking or, uh, you know. Just, they just, sets, sets. Each blood code does different shit. You get different gifts, so different special abilities, but also they have just, like, completely different stat lines. That blood coat is known as Ranger. Oh dear, that weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? Oh, firing your bayonet requires i as well. That and gifts means i always seems scammed. That is where the Blood Veil you have equipped comes in. Using your Blood Veil will let you quickly drain i from the Lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of i you can hold. If you have a chance to drain i from a foe, use it. Alright, so... What you got with this? You have a normal, like, drain thing. Okay, I didn't touch them good. And then, uh, the combo drain, it's weird. So you have to be, like, attacking, and then you can you can do it as a combo. But, like, it's a whole different button input. I don't know why it's not just A. I don't know why I can't just do A here. There's no other input towards A in that scenario, right? So why do I need to hold RB? It doesn't... That one doesn't make sense to me just because of that. Like, there's no... Um, there's nothing else that the A button is, is tied to. So, when I'm attacking, like, there's just, I could just hit A, and it, sh it you would think it should just work. But maybe, you know, maybe later something gets tied to the A or, or some shit. I don't know what the fuck, but that just seems weird that it's a two-button process to do that instead of just A. Alright, and back attacks, like, I don't know why they rarely work. I don't know how to make them, like, consistently happen. It's, it's your, your character is going to end up attacking. It's awkward. That sums up the Ranger blood code and drainery. Let us try one more blood code. Now, turn your gaze inward. Oh, right. Yeah, there's also a spell blood code for the spell enthusiasts out there. That is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. I didn't really understand this one either, but I also didn't care to, to be honest. Oh, I was... Yeah, I, I switched to cast here. Okay, so, uh... Now we just... I only have the one, right? You learn quickly. Bloodshot favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. Well, I'm not trying it. Okay, blazing roar. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? Foes. However, its cost and i is high, so be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. I don't know what a blood veil is. That's the other thing, like, I... I, I guess it's my armor, right? Yeah, okay. Or what I assume to be armor. Okay, so, you know, uh, long range, and then... See, like that, I had to finish the spell before I could do anything, because I tried to cancel the spell on the Vade roll. And the game said, fuck you, you don't get to do that. Now, it worked out, but... That's what I mean. Like, once you're starting an animation, you can't just cancel it in the Vade roll, so... That's weird, and that's something I'm gonna have to, like, learn how to fucking calculate in my head. And not, because I'm I'm just used to like games 
I'm used to Enshrouded, letting me just cancel anything I want and just fucking evade out. Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Now, awaken and save the world. So bright. It's unnecessarily bright. And then there's the little help screen that you can't read because it just goes by too fast. Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. This is one of the weirdest intros ever. And they make you walk so it's slow. It's dry, isn't it? It's just like, all right, here we go. Yep, it's out for a scenic walk. We can go slowly. Well, we kind of have to. The game won't let me run. I am here with you. Trust me, if I could evade roll, I would right now, but I can't. Just a bit farther. <laughs> I hate it. We're all right. A spring will slake our thirst. I hate it. Seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst. One that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. Not really sure what I'm supposed to, like whether the characters are supposed to be vampires or 
Because Revenants I would never really describe as a vampire. So, it is you. But they present the characters like they're vampires. Here. This is for you. Also sound effects if she's wearing high heels when she's like not wearing shoes at all. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. down. Your friend just fell asleep. There's a weird intro because you just like, it all just, I don't know, just happens. Let her sleep. She wore herself out watching over you. And you just end up here, just like that. There's no way we're gonna find blood beads. The missile's all dried up and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Bro. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. Bro, I'm the main protagonist, bro. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Stop already. My body may still be alive, but my soul died long ago. No one could stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Don't take my memories. My family. I have nothing left. All right, I was supposed to talk to this guy. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. Head back there and put on a purifier mask. Number three and four. Got to work. Check your gear and come up. I'm gonna guess three and four are these two. Wandering, they say, the folks up there. They might live in safety. But because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm gonna make thralls out of the whole lot. Still vampire vibes, right? Like, <laughs> you you enjoying that rock? Goes on for a bit. Can, you know, it, it just adds to the. What the fuck is this intro? But the view never improves, does it? We came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. She's got a great outfit. I'm sure I'll cross it as the protagonist with the privilege. Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More importantly, that mask suits you. 
Nice. Without those things, we revenants will join the ranks of the lost in a flash. So be careful. I'm get more in front of him so he doesn't have to lean so far back to, you know, talk to me. So, what do you want to know? Exposition dump. Let's go. According to the folks up there, it's a place to keep laborers who gather blood beads. More concisely, it's a slave pen. A human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are. A revenant. As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep coming back. But you have to drink blood and you'll become one of the lost. It's ironic. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. Each time we die, we lose some part of our memory, be it big or small. It's usually nothing important, and you don't even notice you've forgotten. Well, your case is a little rare, I guess. Yeah, I fucking forgot everything, bro. Mouse cursor. It's also weird because the mouse cursor recenters in the sar at the center every time instead of being like off to the side or wherever you last ditch it. It just comes back. The lost are revenants who have succumbed to bloodthirst and turned into real life monsters. If our heart is destroyed, we turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Still, it takes them a while to come back. Which makes them like us revenants. So confused. <laughs> like, I'm, I just won't, I won't, get, like, so, okay, so how do we come back? Do they just, wait, we come back as long as our heart's not ripped down? I don't fucking know what the fuck's going on. But, like, if we turn into a loss, then we don't need our heart? It's just so weird. The air in this place is something in it that speeds up the bloodthirst. We call it miasma. The mask helps filter it out. Missile purifies the air nearby. But it's been drying up lately, just like the blood springs. Be careful where you take off your mask, unless you want to join the Lost. Brother, I played Crystal Chronicles. My asthma doesn't scare me. If we Revenants don't drink human blood, we join the Lost. But humans are scarce after the Great Collapse and all. The folks like us don't get blood. But there's something we can use in its place. Blood beads. I don't know why such a lucky thing came along, but they started appearing after the Queen frenzied and was taken down. There are some who believe that there are tears, but it doesn't matter much to us where they come from. Not everyone wakes up right away. Some are still asleep. We lose our memories and need human blood to survive. Revenants are imperfect, both as weapons and as creatures, but we were needed to fight against the horrors. The Queen was our hope for solving such problems, but... Well, bringing back the dead is already stepping outside the realm of humanity. In the end, she went into a frenzy, and there was a great war involving all Revenants. Missile is a sort of plant that purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's one of the successes of Project Queen. Even if it withers, it can be brought back with medicine made from the Queen's blood. But there's no hope of that now. If activated missile turned up somewhere, it'd be a big help in exploration. That pretty much covers what I can teach you. The use of the... The use of the term, like, Project Queen really implies to me that Queen, in this context, isn't like... This was a... This is, you know, the royal family Queen. The Queen, in this context, to me, uh, seems more to be like, this is the fucking first Revenant, you know? Like, the Queen of the fucking Ant Hill. Right? That's... That's what it kind of seems like to me. Um, you know. Because... Project Queen. Anywho, I'm gonna go up, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll go find some blood beads. You know, main protagonist shit. Hey, guy, how you doing? This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! 
We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up. Just like the others. I yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... <gasps> You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. Brother, I need more context on this hunter thing. You can't just spring that on me. You heard him. Move it! Yeah. Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Shakes hand. Slash me, shakes hand. Area D12. Ruined under... Ruined city underground. This is the starting point. So, yeah, that's Oliver. So everyone say hi to Oliver Collins. We're gonna find a blood bead bonanza. He's, he's uh, somewhat optimistic. I'm gonna go ahead and rest at this missile. I don't think I need to, but I'm gonna fucking do it anyway. Uh, I don't need to acquire any gifts for, for fighter, right? Like we're, we're, we're chilling. We got the three. And then I've got enough to get either of these, which I don't think either of those matter. Oliver or nothing. I'm gonna I'm bring the supports. The reason you bring these guys is they have dialogue options. I mean, that's why I like them. I don't actually think I need them for anything. If that ladder was down, we could get up. I just like them talking. They also have a hidden function. I guess it won't open. In that they'll, like, sometimes highlight items for you. Or at least... That was my impression. Maybe it was just my character highlighting him himself. I don't know. But that seemed to be what they did. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Or so I've heard. Mm. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave them. All right, if you say so. I mean, I don't know why you guys just don't like fucking burn them you or have something. To use whatever you can to survive. Like, I don't know why you guys just don't fucking burn these bitches or something like that, you know, like... You, what, it, what's the worst that happens? It takes them a couple more years to... A couple more years to come back to life? I mean, I'm just saying. I feel like you guys could burn them. That's just my position on that. Alright, I'm gonna try a back attack. I don't think the game will let that happen. Hey, buddy. Oh, it actually worked this time. It, it so rarely works. Are you actually dead? I thought he lived with one HP for a second. I was gonna be like, well, that's... That's not cool. Random asshole on the ground. It's pretty bad, Oliver. Walk carefully. Yeah, Oliver had to tell me to walk carefully once. I almost walked off the edge. 
beat the shit out of this guy. Ooh, a shard. I don't know what these are for, to be honest with you. I never used them. The game probably explained... Let me take a shower real quick. The game probably explained it to me at some point, but I didn't fucking read it, I'll tell you that much. These, like, starting loss, uh, they just get stun locked. They can't do anything. Not every enemy gets stunned, though, so not every enemy will just let you beat the shit out of them like that. Uh, use item, okay. I don't think I have that thing yet. The thing that it's referencing right now. Um, but we will get that soon. Man, I gotta tell you, this... This crowbar really sucks. Oh, it's, it's not a good crowbar that they gave me. They really saddled me with nothing. Is there something good in there? There's a heavy axe, Oliver. A heavy axe. Shit. Now I look more capable of fighting. Yes. Which way do you think is better? Well, I already know the answer. It's left, but we're gonna go right. Surprise, bitch! Oh. I just tried to back attack him and uh it didn't work. You see but. that too? See what? What is it? Oh he see look, he's marked down an item that I wasn't looking at. See, he does that shit. Yeah, he, uh, he marked I don't know what a queen iron is either. Never used that. He marked a uh item on a ledge for me once. So that's that's what he does. He does his things. Oh, what's this? Uh souls. Okay. Basically. Again, basic basic loss. Just 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 hit him. Not gonna worry about that guy. Wooden boxes. Who stacked them here? Someone who wants me to break them. Is that guy not hear me? I, I feel dizzy. Yeah. I just got hit. Huh. I'm blown away. I didn't think that guy was gonna land through the boxes, but he did. What's that doing there? Yeah, all over it starts like docking weird and I'm like, bro, if you're dizzy, just uh fuck off. Oh yeah, launch attacks. Launch attacks, I don't understand this mechanic at all, to be honest with you. Um Okay, go for it. All right. That didn't. That launch attack did not work the way I expected it to on this weapon. All right, let me. Where are you going, Oliver? Oh, I fucked that. Oh, I fucked that. Oh, I fucked that. Well, that fucked up too. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, a broadsword! That was not a lot of fun. Broadsword. Broadsword, Oliver. A broadsword. Is there something good in there? A bayonet. If you want it. Here, by the way, have that. I'll be fine. Let's go. Be ready for anything. Huh. Guess I should equip that uh that sword real fast. Broadsword. I don't know if I I mean I must sure, have I can wait. I must have gotten it, I just don't remember it. Yeah, I'm fine, but really. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? No. These masks are the old type. Hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing just that peachy. Girl, she's your friend, right? We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. Brother, I'm I'm the main protagonist, so like I'm doing great. Always and forever. Opening a door. Oh look a guy. We can just ignore that dude for a second. Will that come in handy? Alright, we can't ignore this bitch anymore. Oh whoops, what did I just do? That was uh 
That was what you call not the correct button. I was trying to do a launch attack, so I was trying to figure out how the fuck that works. And, uh, well, I didn't do that right at all. So, how does this fucking thing work? Oh, okay. Hi, buddy. Oh, wrong thing. I, I just did the same shit. Okay, fine. He's not cooperating. Or I'm just too stupid. I don't understand how this works. Well, something's above us. Oh, that's... okay. Ah! Stop spitting at people. It's rude. Do you have enough healing to go on? Yeah, I'm good. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Oh, you just lunge? Okay. Get up here. Alright, this is just shows you the area around you. I like that, though. Tutorials, just hints. Good old hints. He marked that for me, I think. Last time around. Oh, wait. Yeah, the door. Huh? What's that? Okay, fine. Mark it. Mark this. Is there something good in there? Wait, hold on. I never use this. What is this? Uh, what does it look like? Ooh, it's what you're wearing. Look, we're twin. We're we're twinning. We're tw except mine's blue, so it's actually cooler than yours. Get shit on, but we're twinning. Isn't that great? We're twinning. We're twins. It's not actually useful for me, is it? Uh. Fucking can't tell. I don't think this thing is useful. I'm pretty sure this is better. Or... I'm so confused by what I'm reading. I really am. Ah, fuck it. I went through the whole thing with this on. <laughs> Surely it'll be fine. Great, it's open. Let's go uh, refresh our stockpiles, Oliver. Yeah, I'll take blood guard. I don't even know what this does. So blood guard is like supposed to do some kind of barrier thing. I didn't actually see it do anything. So, but whatever. I'm gonna get it again. Wait, what did I? Why do you always say stuff about late potential? I'm gonna grab that again because I had it the first time around, so. Yeah. Hey, let's go. We ain't got time for this. Let's move on. Let's move on. I don't know why. I, you know, whatever. I don't care. Are you gonna point out the item for me, Oliver? Damn, you're. you're you really let me down, dude. Well, the first time. Oh, there I didn't he did. notice that. Very good. He called it out this time. This path was here? Is there something good in there? A great sword. I've never used the great sword. I have no idea if that'd be good. Oh, that'd be good. Wow. It's cramped. It is quite cramped, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm not a huge fan of how ramped everything is it's kind of i like linear pathing i like the linear i'm um hey i'm good at that just cramped oh didn't they pass us earlier are you okay did you get hurt Could have gone better. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. 
You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. And we just say, all right, and just leave. No consideration for our boy boy here. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. What kind of horse shit friend am I that I'm just like, eh, ain't no thing, not my problem, you know? Just saying, I could be a better friend. Uh, it turns out I don't have anything I thought I would have. Okay. That's fine. Well, I don't, it doesn't matter. Oh, I don't want to go too far, actually. Come on, buddy. Walk back over here. I should have walked up to you when you were walking on me. And the cinematic, uh... Hatfield versus McCoy here. Oh, I did it a second too soon. I also did it a second too soon. Because I thought he was going to do that attack. The second time. So that's why I did it early the second time. The first time I just fucked up because I forgot the, uh, the timing on the thing. It's kind of a weird timing. It, like the parry is is, is weird because it's a full ass animation, right? I don't know what part of the animation matters. What do you want some too, buddy? I just killed your friend. You want you want to come down this path now? You want to come say hi to me? How you feeling? You, you feeling frisky, buddy? Now you're gonna turn around, you're gonna walk away, I'm gonna deal with the thing that's over there making slurping noises, okay? Alright, good, good talk, friend. Who the fuck are you back here? Just go say hi to this guy real quick. Let me just say hi to him, let me just... Hey, buddy. How you doing? Just like a puppet. Oh, shit, he's still alive. All right. Ain't no thing. One oh boy's making noise back there. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. What the... F what even was that, brother? So yeah, the parry is like a whole ass uh, kill animation, basically. It does. It's not. It's not necessarily gonna kill everything. That's just a weak enemy. Oh shit! That was unexpected. Well, well, well. He. He magically blocked that. Dude, his, his shield's goaded, man. Hey, other guy, fuck off for a sec. Oh, wow, I'm invincible in that. Well, ain't that convenient. Damn, I was trying to... I was trying to just backstab him, too, while I could. Someone's shooting at me, I think. Am I wrong about that? Or am I just hearing a random-ass noise that I don't understand? I think I'm just hearing a random ass noise. Alright, cool. Let me just grab a few things real quick. Yeah, that's that's a noise that's apparently not uh that's just I'm not involved with. That's just apparently a noise that's happening, I guess. I thought someone was shooting at me. I was uh Holy shit, that guy just took a swing at me. Ain't that crazy? Hmm. He lived. Oh shit, I missed. I'm out of stamina too. Okay, nice and easy. No problems there. Hey buddy. Alright, cool. Good talk. Thanks for the Icor that I won't use. 
Well, maybe I'll use some. We don't know yet. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of different pathways. I mean, oh my golly, huh? Let me just heal real quick. Damn, let's try and hit all three. Do something. Come on. Do something. Do your thing. Oh, I feel like that. I feel like that was good. I feel like I should have gotten credit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright. You stupid bastards. Doing damage to me. Oh, shit. See what I'm saying? It kind of doesn't make sense. Like, I felt like that one should have been... I'm going to get hit. No, I'm not. We're fine. Because we're fine because it's a normal basic enemy. That was just a horrible camera angle. That's just maybe the worst camera angle I've ever, uh, I've ever engaged with. That was pretty bad. But it felt like, uh, it felt like that should have been a parry, but like, yeah, just... Sometimes they just don't parry. I want to backstab one of these guys. Just to... Psst. Alright. Well, tried to dodge out of that, but it didn't work. Tried to dodge it, didn't work. Okay, that's the thing we were looking for earlier that I just did not uh, have on me at the time. So I can do that. It says permanent, so I assume it's permanent. You know, it says permanent. Alright, remove that. I'm pretty sure that I can trust the words of the game unless it means permanent in between every time you do a fucking fire reset or a missile whatever the hell reset almost forgot about that thank you then we'll go back around we'll go downstairs check out what the hell was down there just two guys but whatever and uh, oh wow I didn't know that on the mini map it shows uh shows allies didn't know that never noticed it before well I've noticed it now and that's what's important I also have still have no idea if I can fall off or not I've never tested it oh that was way too soon homeboy decided he was gonna just wait a billion years for that swing man yeah it's just Try it again. Can you not do a follow up? Uh. Yeah, right, fuck you. Not really a fan of the heavy attacks either, because like they just don't seem like they do as much damage as you think they should. They don't seem like they're worth it. Just. Great, I'm glad my first attack missed. I'm glad my first attack at that range missed. Okay, well I tried to do a launch attack, and I don't know the difference between a launch attack and a normal attack apparently, because you know, a launch attack to me implies it's a juggle. Gotta be honest, that's what it implies to- wait, you can- hold on. No? Okay, hold on. No? Okay. So can I... I can kind of attack out of a sprint. It's not much of a lunge, though. I also don't know why I keep auto-targeting that way. That's kind of weird. It's not a... It's not a lunge. Hey, buddy. I'm just going to brute force this. Hope you don't mind. I didn't have any stamina. Because I was sprinting. But, uh, yeah, I was just gonna brute force that. Yeah, 
You know, I don't think I killed that guy last time I played. No, well. Because I think I walked over here and, like, saw that person down there. And I was like, oh, I gotta go that way. And then I just forgot to go the other way after. A local panic. Do your thing. It's probably okay. I'm gonna go deal with this guy real quick. Okay. Oh, okay. Holy shit, my... Hey, you can fall off. <clears throat> you can fall off, apparently. Okay, I need to relearn the fucking range on this weapon. I don't know that I, uh... Well, hey, you know, I probably should have just walked off at some point to figure that one out. Alright. There is a, uh... Seemingly a stun function. It's... I also don't like the camera, like, when you lock on angles up there. I might just not use lock on. Kind of gives you a bad angle. Ooh, another code thing. Well, we killed that guy. We just, uh... We just rest again, I guess. I don't feel like wasting a regen item. God damn, he just threw me off the fucking map like it was fucking... What do you call it? Soul Calibur. 